Have you ever thought about what it means to be a leader? When you grew up, who were the leaders in your community? Who did you learn about at school? Who do you now see leading in your school, your workplace or other places you spend time? Odds are, most people imagine older adult men when they think of leaders. That's not surprising because they're the ones most likely to hold formal positions of power in organisations, institutions and societies. This means we often equate leadership with masculinity, hierarchies and formal involvement in public activities. But this is far from the only way people lead. In fact, there are many ways of being a leader. To learn more, we've been working as research partners with the World YWCA on a project called Empowering Young Women's Leadership and Advocacy in Asia and the Pacific, which has supported and connected hundreds of young women aged 18 to 30 in 10 countries around our region. Through using a range of research methods, we've learned important lessons about how young women understand leadership and how they lead. Their involvement has taught us we need to rethink leadership as something that is collective, collaborative and transformative. We've also learned that leadership has diverse meanings for young women. It can involve challenging gender-based stereotypes and discrimination or getting active about global issues like climate change or peace building. And it often means supporting other young women to make strong, informed decisions about their own lives. At the same time, young women leaders have told us that stereotypes about their age and gender creates challenges to their being seen as real leaders. But they're not taking these obstacles sitting down. Instead, they're challenging themselves, their communities, their countries and the world to recognise both their current and future contributions for leading on matters of local and global significance. Through listening closely to the young women, we've identified five ways to better encourage, support and advance young women's leadership. 1. Respect young women's rights. Young women deserve to know about their rights and be supported to claim them. It's the responsibility of all members of society to ensure that this occurs. 2. Create safe spaces. Young women need and deserve safe spaces where they feel respected and heard and can discuss challenging or sensitive topics that affect them. 3. Enable peer leadership. Engaging young women as peer leaders can be one useful way to build safe spaces, offer leadership opportunities and create networks for young women to learn and share information. 4. Support sustainable movement building. Ensuring young women have access to their rights, safe spaces and can practice and access peer leadership is important not only for them, but also for sustaining broader movements around social problems like violence against women or upholding human rights. 5. Model intergenerational leadership. Creating sustainable movements for change can't happen in a silo, only through working together and sharing leadership across generations can people of all ages and genders meet the challenges of tomorrow while modelling respect today. In the end, we need to believe young women when they speak up. We can't create any real change unless we engage young women.